My colleagues, Dr. Wagner and Vail Reese and I initially became interested in looking at skin features of movie villains in response to biased portrayals of skin disease in film. Our study looks at the American Film Institute's top 10 film heroes and villains. We identified skin conditions in each group and compared the groups to each other. What we found is that film villains actually had a higher incidence of skin conditions than heroes. Some of the findings we identified amongst film antagonists include albinism, dark circles around the eyes, facial scars, red bulbous noses, hair loss, and warts to name a few. It appears that these skin conditions are used in film to highlight the dichotomy of good and evil which may foster a tendency toward prejudice in our society directed at those with skin disease. Biased portrayals of villains in film are deeply entrenched in the cinema, dating back to the silent film era. In a time during which a moral character could not be conveyed through the spoken word, filmmakers relied heavily on using skin conditions to convey wickedness visually. Filmmakers may unintentionally not give consideration to the gravity of their aesthetic choices and how they shape public opinion towards skin disease. Increased awareness amongst physicians, filmmakers, and the general public is warranted. It is our hope that increased awareness will initiate change in the unfair targeting of people with skin disease in film and the media. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.